What's going on, disciples? And welcome to another video. Um, I've been getting some questions lately about my gaming setup, and I really wanted to go ahead and show off my uh, setup to y'all. So hopefully this would answer a lot of questions that you might possibly have. As always, you know, like and, and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest content. And without further ado, let's get into this. Let's start where I sit at. This is a Remy King gaming chair with flip up arms, high back computer, uh, chair ergonomic racing office desk chair. Um, I bought this uh, chair at Office Max and it, it routinely goes for between $100 and $150, but I found some options on Amazon. Links down below. What said I wouldn't be complete without a, the proper desk? And I decided to go with the Eureka Ergonomic Gaming Desk. Um, it's 60 inches long, has plenty of uh, add-ons, has cup holders, controller stands, and also has headphones stands as well. Um, this desk has enough space to be able to properly display your setup, and it costs around $199 at New Egg. Nothing like a good cell phone holder to help you record your videos or have a steady position. And I bought this uh, cell phone holder on Amazon, and the link is down below. What setup would be complete without a good set of headphones? And SteelSeries Arctic Pros do not disappoint. Like, I swear, SteelSeries is some, makes some of the best headsets that you can use. Definitely recommend it. Link down below. SteelSeries Arctic Pros would not be complete without the SteelSeries Game Deck. And... This is an item that I definitely recommend. It's an amp for your PS5, your PS4, or your PC. And then what it basically does is it turns that into a high performance audio system by bypassing the low fidelity and poor quality signals. Definitely recommend. Links down in the below in the description. Every great setup needs a great webcam. And the Logitech C920 HD Pro webcam leaves it all out there and is the best for the buck. It is full HD, 1080p, videos are faster and smoother, and it works on many computers and many OS programs, such as Linux, Mac, and PC. Links down below if you're interested. I know we didn't talk about headsets, but you need a good mic. And I decided to go with the HyperX Quadcast USB condenser gaming microphone. You can use this for PC, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and also max um it's anti-vibration shock mount it's got four polar patterns a pop filter game control you can use it for podcasts twitch youtube discord the red light indicates when it's on and of course when it's uh muted it'll be off links down below in the description pick one up a good setup needs good lighting and in order for you to look your best you want to have the best type of lighting I decided to go with the Elgato Key Light. It's a professional studio LED panel. It's an app control all the way up to 2800 lumen. Uh, it's color temper, adjustable desk mount, and you can use it with PC or Mac. Um, I also use my stream deck to control the, um, the functions on this. So definitely a good pair to have. Links in below in the description. Every setup needs a good pair of desktop speakers. And I use these speakers for my MacBook Pro. Uh, they are elegant uh, 10 watt wire and Bluetooth 5.0 speakers with enhanced stereo bass, colorful LED lights, dual channel, multimedia speakers for PCs, desktop, laptops, tablets, smartphones, MP4s, and MP3s. Links down below in the description. Pick them up. Definitely recommend. Now we're on a discussion of speakers. The speaker I decided to go for with my PC setup are the Sony uh, SRS. XP43 extra bass wireless portable speaker. Now this speaker can be used um, portable and it is wireless as well. Now I've decided to use a, it has a connection for a USB-C. I decided to hardwire from USB-C to USB-C wired to my PC to keep it on um, as uh, long as the PC is running. Of course the speaker is going to um, be running as well. This, this uh, speaker kicks. And I'm telling you, like, it is very loud and it can get the party started anywhere. And I like the functionality of it being able to 
take it on the go, take it with you. Um, has a kit comes with a case. Well, it actually doesn't come with a case, but you can buy a case for it. And I definitely recommend it. You know what I'm saying? The color LEDs looks really good on my setup. And I love it. Uh, it like I said, the base kicks. Um, definitely recommend. Links down below in the description. Definitely need a good keyboard when you're thinking about PC gaming. And the Red Dragon K596. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz wireless and both wired um, RGB mechanical game keyboard has 87 keys combat keyboard with 3000 uh, MAH battery life um, I, I barely charge this thing when I actually do charge it and when I do charge it it's fast charging um, it's uh, got a wrist resist um, 10 hours of playtime for retune use and it also has micro keys uh, enabled and you can change the patterns of the change the patterns of the light patterns of the gaming keyboard um, it does have like a wireless option so you have your little micro um, dongle USB dongle that you uh, pop in and it's overall a good keyboard and you can pair that with uh, the gaming mouse uh, that's going to follow up after this. When paired with the keyboard, the Red Dragon M686 wireless gaming mouse does not disappoint. You have up to 45 hours of dual power capacity, capacity capable of micros and RGB backlights for the PC, Mac, and laptop. This is definitely a good my, mouse. Um, like I said, paired with the Red Dragon keyboard that I mentioned. Uh, it's an unbeatable combination. Links down below in the description. I swear, I don't know how I got along without this thing before. But this is definitely taking my streams up a level. The Elgato Stream Deck Live Content Creation Controller with 15 customizable LCD keys. Adjustable stand for Windows 10 and Mac OS. Definitely recommend this item. Like I said, if you're trying to make your streams that much more better, this thing does not disappoint. Links down below in the description. I have three monitors in my setup. My first monitor is a 24-inch ultra-thin 75 hertz 1080p LED monitor, two times uh, HDMI VGA, uh, built-in speakers, metallic black. It was made in 2018. I basically use that monitor to monitor my Streamlab OBS progress and my Super Chats. Um, the second um, monitor that I use, and this is the actual monitor that I game on, it is a Sceptric Curve 32-inch gaming monitor. It's up to 240 Hz, 1 millisecond response time, AMD FreeSync, premium built speakers, HDMI display port, and it's in gunmetal. And that, that uh, monitor was created in 2021, so that's my newest monitor. And the third one I use for observation purposes, uh, just because I like the three monitor to set up, um, is also a Scepter uh, Curve 32 inch gamer. Now this one has a uh, 185 hertz refresh rate, um, and also has some 165 hertz and 144 hertz refresh rate. Uh, um, all of these monitors look amazing, and I definitely recommend. Links to below in the description. For the setup, be without consoles. Um, of course, it's Nintendo Switch, uh, Neon Blue, and the Neon Red Joy-Con um, Edition. Um, it goes for about $299. Um, I have a 256 um, gigabyte memory card inside of it. Definitely recommend, you know, for the nostalgia purposes, uh, Nintendo Switch is definitely a superior console. And I love, I really had fun playing it, uh, the, the latest uh, Mario games and, of course, the retro Mario games. Links below down in the description. Anybody who knows me knows that I am a console gamer. I just recently got into PC gaming approximately about a year and a half ago, maybe almost two years. Um, love the PlayStation 5. Um, I switched out the factory plates and put on my red CMP plates. Also have a pair of D-brand black plates that I have too. I have that on my second PlayStation. Um, this one is strictly for my streaming setup. The other one is just for me relaxing gaming. I game every day, but I only stream uh, four, five times a week. Uh, links below down in the description. Hope you're able to get one. Sad down. This is my PC. 
been through a lot of changes over the last uh, um, year and a half. I built it around like the end of July, beginning of August. So I'm not going to go into all the details about everything that I've done. I'm just going to tell you my latest upgrades that I've done more than in the past year. And I've added uh, four uh, sticks of DRAM or DDR4. And those are the G-Skills Trident Z Neo series. And like I said, uh, um, links down below in the description. Um, love these. They are RGB. Makes the setup look um, great. Moving on. So my graphics card is an AMD um, Radeon RS 6800 XT graphics card. This is a next-gen graphics card. Um, it's powered by AMD. Uh, the architecture features 72 powerful enhanced computer units, 128 megabytes of all new AMD Infinity Cache, and it's a 16 gigabytes of dedicated GDDR6, and that's GDDR6 memory. <laughs> it's engineered to deliver ultra high frame rates and serious 4K um, gaming resolution. My processor is an AMD Ryzen 9 5900X, and it's a 12-core, 3.7 gigahertz socket, AMD 4, 105 watts desktop processor. Um, this is a next-gen um, processor. Um, links below down in the description. If you have any questions about any of the things I showed up on my PC, or you've seen something that you want to question about, don't hesitate to hit me up. Like I said, links below down in the description. This is my beast, my workhorse, my Mac uh, 13 inch, early 2011 MacBook Pro. Um, the process is a 2.7 gigahertz Intel Core i7. I've upgraded the, the DDR3 from four to 16 gigabytes. I also upgraded the internal memory from a 500 gigabyte hard drive to a two terabyte solid state drive i also removed the optical drive out and put another one terabyte solid state drive in that place so i have a uh, dual hard drives uh solid state drives inside the the actual macbook but this is a beast uh, i do everything with this uh, macbook and i love it well Thanks for joining me, disciples, and I really hope that you liked the video that I presented. And if, you, like I said, if you have any questions, you know, please, you know, don't hesitate to hit me up. Kind of in the comments below, um, definitely uh, have no problem answering any type of question that you might possibly have. As always, I'm gonna leave you like I always do. If you're into the things that I'm into, then we have something in common, and I want to talk to you about it. I really appreciate you joining me, disciples. As always, have a good weekend. Be safe. Be good to each other. And peace.